Oh no! Yeah. I'm not entirely sure if I've been blagged. So far, I don't recommend it. Hello and welcome to the channel. We are Liam and Janine, a married couple doing van life in the UK. In our previous episode, we embraced the new beginnings of autumn and headed to the Malvern Hills to enjoy the seasonal change of colours and temperature. We are gearing ourselves up to be ready for the colder months living in our van, Frida. All was going well and only some minor technical defaults with our diesel heater. And then, breaking news. Sizzling heat waves set to hit the UK. Well, that's all the news we needed to hang up our raincoats and find our flip-flops stored at the back of the garage. So we hopped in the van, Liam changed his hat from autumn back to summer, and we made our very optimistic journey south for some sizzling sun, sea and surf this October. Yes, we are heading back to Willacombe, ready for a heat wave. I'm trying not to look at the weather right now. <laughs> I'm just going by Google, and Google is God. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we are, we've changed our plans a little bit again, which is what we're good at doing. Um, we've scrapped autumn for the time being because we just read there's an Indian summer this weekend. And whether that's going to be just to sell newspapers or not, uh, Indian summer being the last bit of summer, even though we're in autumn. Um, so anyway, we thought we'd take a risk and um, head to the beach, we're going back to the beach to have a long weekend away and to hopefully enjoy some warmer weather. So we're off to Woolacombe. From the Midlands, where we're based quite a lot at the moment, it's about a four hour drive to North Devon. Woolacombe is quite a small town with only a few shops, so our plan is to go to a supermarket first to pick up some groceries. <laughs> I've got to admit, I was a little bit worried um, coming down here because it was just so misty and cloudy as well. But about two minutes ago, the sun came out for the first time. So we could be in for the treat that they've promised us on the news that it's going to be an Indian summer. You can drive into Willacombe from various different directions, but we like to come in from Chalacombe Road as the view of Willacombe is outstanding. You have to hand it over to him. Oh. We arrived. Woolacombe is looking actually pretty good today. It's a little bit cloudy, it's quite warm though, and uh, there's a few people about, not loads of people about. It's really, really good. I'm so excited to be here. So, um, yeah, let's go out and see. Let's go out and see Woolacombe. We paid for the parking? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Nice. Go on. There you go. Put on a bit of weight, but no, nothing to be alarmed about. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Have fun. That will do. Wish me luck. Good luck. Whilst Liam went for a surf, I took the opportunity to get on with some work. Not a bad view from the office but screen glare makes this kind of working very difficult. So I decided to hit the beach on Liam's return. It was very good. After two months, being back in the sea again. Oh my word. Not beat this beach honestly it is definitely one of my favorite beaches in the UK especially at sunset as well people surfing and Indian summer and all the rest of it it's just I'm so pleased we made the journey down here the, the four hour journey or five hour dirt journey down here now I've spotted a, a space for our van to go up there I don't know if it'll be there when we get up there I think now's a really good opportunity to go and look for a, a park up and then get some food. How do you, uh, what do you reckon? Let's do that. All right, let's go. 
We're back at the van. Liam spotted a space and we're going to race down there now and try and get it before someone nicks it because this is a popular time to actually come down here because it's just before sunset. So, um, yeah, we've got like a couple of minutes before that space gets stolen <laughs> from us. So we're going to go now quickly. Okay, so the plan of action is to drive up and down the esplanade until we find a spot. Literally, that's what we're going to do. Like, there's one there, just, just there. Oh, see, look. Oh, no! Yeah, that's all it takes, isn't it? Oh! All it takes. They get wanting to go, but they're, they're trying to get into one of these spaces here. So all we have to do is go around them. There's one further up, isn't there? Yeah, well, there was. If we could get around them. See, they're just, they're just, they found a little spot in there. Whoever's moved. Come on. Oh dear, oh dear. Problem. What do you mean to the park up to me? Yeah, it's so nice. It's um, like the most perfect sunset. When we were here last, the sunset right over there, but it's setting right in front of the van now, um, which is really cool. And the surf is huge today. I didn't realise you went out in that. The surf is huge. These are the, the oh my these God. Are what, what they call the waves at the back. <laughs> which I didn't do. Oh right, yeah, good. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't do that. But you watch, you watch some of those guys, they're riding some mega waves. <gasps> they're like six, seven foot out there today. Yeah, they're huge. It's really cool. Should we go for a wonder? Yeah, and food. Yeah, let's do it. Captain's table, or the beach house up there, is our best bet. Uh, so fish and chips, or we'll, we'll have to remain open-minded. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Thanks, Mark. Cheers. Right. 10, 20 minutes. Uh, 10, 15. Okay, cool. Thanks. Good, isn't it? Having a ve vegan pizza place. Well, it's not a vegan pizza place. It's a pizza place with vegan options. <laughs> but they've got vegan cheese. But they've got vegan cheese, which is always good. Where's your coach name? I left it back at home. A home being the Esplanade. The van. <laughs> That's my home. And, and you notice how everyone's wearing shorts and t-shirts, oh proving that it's an Indian summer. I left it at home because everyone was out just wearing shorts and t-shirts and bikinis and not that I'm ever going to walk up and down here in a bikini but um, they were all wearing wetsuits and things like that and I thought oh, I can't go out in that big white fluffy jacket, I'd just take this out and I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> smells good. Right, jacket. It's not cold. <laughs> but I'm living. Yeah. Really good. Oh, it's exactly the same but bigger. But massive, look at that. Pesto and cheese. What's it like? Mm. It'll do the job. Definitely. We ate our pizzas with the waves crashing around us. It's times like this where we really appreciate van life and the random places you end up to spend the day, sleep, work or in this case have dinner. We ate up our food until it got dark and headed back to the van.
Right guys, we're gonna wrap that up for the evening and hit the sack. Um, we might have a cup of tea and watch a film or something, but we will see you tomorrow morning. everyone it's an absolutely beautiful day here at Woolacombe um, we had a really peaceful night's sleep apart from some lads came by drunk uh, about midnight smashing up the, the sm hammering the van so I'll get it I'll get it it's okay yeah yeah so Janine saying can you pick something up um, and yeah but really really nice sleep cloudy morning this morning as you've just seen the Sun has just come out let's hope the extension of the Indian summers continuing uh, and the surf's a little bit less today um, but uh, I'm gonna rent out a board a bit later hopefully as well it's a bit too late yesterday and now we're heading into town and gonna grab some coffee just do a little bit of work on our laptops charge our laptops actually um, and see what the day brings we found a little coffee shop called Meraki Coffee Co so we went in and ordered some breakfast and coffee Liam had the chia oat bowl with fruit and Janine had a green smoothie we ate up, did some work, and left on a mission to find a surfboard hire shop. Yeah, good, dude. Yeah, good. Um, bring them all. How much is the board for sort of like two or three hours? Well, how much is it for? Three hours is £12, pounds, £10. Pounds. So, how much are they? Oh, well, because I'm late on in the day again, it's £12 for three hours, which people will be hearing that going, what? Um, £10 for two hours. I should imagine that half a day is £15 and I should imagine for the whole day it's about £18, 20 quid, something like that. Um, but anyway, I, well, I've left it a little bit late again today because of work, but um, I'm still going to come back and rent a board for three hours later on, so let's get on with it, eh? We did eat quite a bit of pizza yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, wish me luck. Good luck. I'm going to be gone for two or three hours. Hold on, two hours to ten quid, wasn't it? I've only got ten quid on me, so I'll see you in two and a half hours. Okay, so Liam has just come back from his surf and he's headed down to the toilets. I've had a really busy day um, and I'm looking forward to having a bit of a break now. So me and Liam are going to meet down on the beach. Um, and we're gonna go for a walk along the beach and maybe go to the supermarket I'm not sure to get something to cook for tonight Hey, hi, yeah, you ready for a walk? Yeah, and um, we need to get some veg from the uh from the spa or whatever it is over there, the Londies or whatever. Do you want to get that after? Um, I think the shop might be shut afterwards. I don't know when it shuts, but um, yeah, if, if we could go to the shop and then go for a walk. Yeah, okay. okay. Let's go to the shops. Lunch too? Yeah. It's good, good in a sort of stir fry situation. Right?
how hungry I am. Lifeguards are going. Or oh, they're going in. Don't know what they're doing. Hi guys, we just have your attention in front of the lifeguard truck. Just to let you know that the lifeguard service will be ending in a couple of minutes. We'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. If you see anybody in distress this evening, please call 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. We decided it was time to go and cook some food, so we headed back to the van. Quick and easy. Vegetables with rice and avocado, done. Nice. Yeah. I'm really hungry. And I'll be able to do it really quick. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it quick. <laughs> I'll do it now. Firecracker basmati and hot jalapeno whole grain. It's nice. Both labelled vegan. Should we put them both in? Yeah, not together. Why not? They're exactly the same thing. No, they're not. One's firecracker and one's jalapeno. They're both hot rice. Trust me, they'll both be fine. Or would you prefer this in a, like a coconut? Well, not together because yeah, they're too... You need to balance it out a little bit because that might be red hot. It says it's free, free hot. Coke with some coconut as well, it'll really balance it out. Yeah, but can I have mine separate? No. I want, I want to taste the coconut and I, I want to taste <sighs> the jalapenos. I've done it in one pan, Janine. Is there any way you can have them to... I'll tell you, can I just do two of the same flavour for now? Do two if, of the same flavour. Okay. I'll have to save that. <laughs> <laughs> Despite disagreeing on the rice, we enjoyed our food outside the van watching the colour of the sky change from sunset pink to evening blue. Just one last shot of the evening, the night sky tonight, it's so pretty and I don't know if you can see, there's like a Shiva moon. So Good morning everyone, it is nice and well it's not nice and sunny, it's actually really cloudy today. It's definitely gotten a little bit colder, um, I'm not entirely sure if I've been blagged into coming here for the Indian summer because I don't feel like it's been an Indian summer at all, um, but it's still been gorgeous. Um, like this is the view we woke up to this morning um, which is just so beautiful so anyway yeah I really do think Liam's blagged me just so he can come surfing <laughs> um, we are about to get up and head into town and maybe get a bite to eat um, but first I wanted to show you some of these gorgeous um, views that you can get when you're here Patrick Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> very, have I got a toothpaste around my mouth? No, you're fine. It's not very Patrick Swayze with toothpaste <laughs> around your mouth. It's definitely boots, not flip flop weather. I think the flip flop days are coming to an end. You blagged me. I love you know I've been wearing shorts and flip flops and short sleeves for the whole time we've been here. Or well, let's say the majority of the time we've been here. Today felt feels a little bit more like autumn. But granted. <laughs> Go. We decided to go for breakfast at the Beachside Cafe to see what their plant-based options were like. What's up? Oh my god, we're right on it in here. Um, she came over and had a bit of a word with me about walking in and not getting seated first. So, be warned about that before you come in here. <laughs> Okay, so this is the Beachcomber Cafe in Woolacombe, right on the beach, as you can see. And they do have vegan breakfasts. They've got a full vegan breakfast, which I'm going to get, although I shouldn't be. Um, they've got a healthy vegan breakfast, which is like avocado and toast and mushrooms and stuff, which I'm sure Janine might be getting, if she doesn't get a smoothie. And um, yeah, standard affair, uh, lunches, um, I see what's vegan on there, because we only care about what's vegan, hummus. Yeah, it just looked like, I'm sure there's more, but you can get hummus, believe it or not, isn't that? Oh, and they do a, a vegan sausage bap as well. 
sauces. Anything to eat? No, that's all. Okay. No? Thank you. Oh, are you getting a coffee? Yeah. Just, just walked off. So they forgot about my food. They didn't, they didn't admit forgetting about the food. We think they just gave us dairy milk instead of oat milk as well. And uh, they brought out the wrong breakfast, um, which is a misunderstanding, uh, which is fair enough, miscommunication. Um, but they were in such a rush to take the order and such a rush not to listen that they didn't take Janine's drinks or uh, coffee order and I got the wrong thing in the end. So, so far, I don't recommend it. But still, nice views. <laughs> Cool, well that food was a little bit disappointing to say the least, but uh, we're right on the beach and we are gonna go. I'm, unfortunately the surf has completely dropped, so um, not gonna waste money but get renting a board, so I'm just gonna take my little board out, body board out, and get in the waves, whatever waves are left. So whilst Liam went out bodyboarding, Janine went for a walk down this humongous beach before a sodden wet dog comes out of nowhere and jumps up on her. We head back to the van and Liam makes an epic katsu curry. Well, that's the sunset done and it has suddenly got really freezing. So I'm thinking that's the Indian summer done as well. I don't know if this is gonna continue, but it has actually been a lovely few days down here in Willacombe um, and it got quite warm today on the beach. So yeah, so me and Liam are finishing up here in Willacombe. We're gonna head north now. We're going back to Warwickshire. Liam has got a job to do for his granddad because it's his birthday um, and he wants to do him like a little favor. So he's gonna do that. And yeah, then we'll see where the season takes us and where the van takes us. Um, so yeah, we will see you in the next episode. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right You're in the background of my video, Liam. Okay, naked? Yeah. Well, just remember, don't use that! <laughs> I don't use that Every single moment of the day, there is something that goes on that's super frustrating. <laughs> I just don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs>